Hello friends, it's Vivek Moel from VivekMoel.in. Hope you are liking our videos and tutorials. Please like and share our videos. In this video, I will show you that how you can create a dynamic gallery for your website. In this tutorial, we will use our saved images to create the gallery over our website. And also we will use the light box for showing our images in a big view in this video i will show you uh, i will not show you the login process and how i created uh, the admin process admin panel how i uploaded the uh, images to our admin panel for showing the gallery and uh, for showing the images at other ends like sliders and everywhere uh, for this thing you can go back to uh, my previous video that is regarding the slider that is a dynamic slider how we can create a dynamic slider for this video you can get the link at the below of the video that is a description part of the video you will get the link here and in now in this video as you can see that most of the part is related to the previous video that is uh, first of all is login process and second is uploading the images and both of the things are done in our previous video and now in this video we will just move on to the main thing that is our index page where we have uh, where we will show the images and use our light box js for showing the images in the big view so it's a just an easy task if you have been to uh, my previous video uh, related to the slider then there is no difficulty this zero percent difficulty you will find in this video so let's get started with the previous one so i will just copy this part slider and just paste it here only and name it as a gallery you can also uh, get the slider from my previous video or you can move to my blog for getting all the files that is wikmail.in you can go there and here you will see that I have created this and the best part is I have also uploaded this uh, dynamic photo gallery files here you can click here and you can go back to the bot you can go to the bottom and here is the package you will find so this package you will get it here so you can download the package now in this package uh, the downloaded packages uh, will have all the editing everything is done already so this is just for the example I'm doing here so I will just go to the manage or first of all I will change this to I will just rename all the slider to gallery that's it nothing I will change more and now in the manage section I will just uh, first of all I will do a login process so I will just also show you that what is going on here I'm admin demo sorry admin demo one two three no demo demo one two three no just a minute I think check out the or just a minute I will check this <coughs> it's demo 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 so as you can see we have a slider dashboard but we will change it to the gallery dashboard so we'll just close this part and we will come to our dashboard 
and now we will just change the slider to so we will just put the slider here and I will put the gallery there is nothing matches slider and gallery we we'll just update and I have replaced everything is done for this add gallery there is no any page so we will just change this to add slider to gallery and now if we click on refresh then you can see that it's still uh, some slider names are there so we will just replace it and change this again done for list gallery there is no page for list slider list gallery okay nothing is there I think it's blank oh it's blank here so here we have our add gallery page and our all the images will go into the gallery image folder that is here right now it's having some images from slider just remove them so now it's an empty gallery image folder everything is done and some part we will remove that big text and small text we will remove from here and gallery here go to the bottom we will remove this big text and small text refresh it okay now we have the image and uh, when we click on the submit button we will remove all the values except image name so we will go there upload gallery is not available because we have not changed the name yet we will change the name gallery to and it's in gallery class click on here and now we will change the slider to gallery everything is changed we will remove this part because we don't have the values and we don't need the values we'll just and just refresh it at gallery everything is working fine now we will just upload this part and uh, upload any image here so I will just upload this please choose image let's upload gallery please choose image okay it supports only JPEG so we will just use this upload yes gallery class not found so here we have G and a big okay, slider is there slider gallery and we will change this to G small and now we will now we will upload the image here so file is not uploaded it's because we don't have the database right now so we will just open this part our SQL file we will just copy this part and we'll go here and open our localhost into PHP my admin and we'll move on to our PHP tutorial and here I will create a table name gallery and we will remove this big ID big text and small text from here and we just go so we have a table now now we will upload the image file is uploaded as you can see we have the image here right here and in our database do we have or not click on the gallery now as you can see we have this image name 
okay and now we will upload more images at least two three images so we can check out our working upload one more file is uploaded these all are not jpeg it's too big an image on png jpeg this jpeg okay now we have three images here gallery we have three images here so let's come back here and now we have three images that is gallery added as three images and in the counting class count class is gallery okay it will be the same because we have the three images only now we will just move back to our index page okay for showing the image uh, right now we have the slider coding so we will just remove this everything and insert the gallery portion code uh, for this part I have created uh, you can say for making your task very easy I have created this blog and you can just copy and paste this is the raw format we will just copy the whole script and we will just replace it with this and now we have the light box and everything and as you can see we have the images uh, first of all let me tell let me show you that how we get the images from our database that is we included the gallery class here in this line we created the object of the gallery class and using the object of gallery class we call our function that is list gallery and we get all the values in our gallery list variable and this is just a normal CSS and uh, these bootstrap for uh, making it a bit more clear and a bit more beautiful and now here this is the main part for showing the images over the page so here as you can see we have uh, used if condition this is for uh, it, uh, it this if will check that gallery list is having anything or not it will count the values if it's false or it's zero then the condition will not run and nothing will be shown here or over our page and if there is something then we will use our for each loop and we will just insert the gallery list here and as you can see we echoed the function uh, we echoed the our HTML part with the value image name that is value here and image name is our table column image name this is the same image name here and this is for just showing the modal box and this is for integrating the jquery and this is for bootstrap js and this part is for creating a light box effect so this uh, light box effect what i mean is if we click on this this is the light box effect that is uh, image is in the modal box and everything at the back side goes a little bit blackish if we click on this X button that is close button it will go out if we click on this it will come out it will click on this it will come out so this is a very simple part of PHP and this is a very simple tutorial for creating a very beautiful and your own gallery portion for your websites or for your projects hope you find it useful if you have any issues anything you want to ask any feedback you want to give please provide us the feedback 
please provide us the comment for the best portion if you want to comment anything or want to give any feedback please go back to uh, this blog post and please reply here i will surely reply within a same day thank you for watching please like please share our videos please subscribe our videos thank you for watching our videos